Hi, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm really happy that you're here today. And if you're new, please take a moment to subscribe. Hit the bell button, like, and comment down below. And also take a moment to check out my description down below where I have all of my links. The first link is my website, which uh, you can go over there and sign up for my newsletter and receive my free ebook on making herbal tea. I have my Etsy shop with my art. If you keep scrolling down in my description, I have three books on Amazon. I have other links for um, Rosemary Gladstar and also the Spunk Acupressure Mat um, and more. So just I have all my links and more, so just check out my description. If you see commercials on any of my videos, I do not get um, kickback from those commercials. I am not monetized at this time. Those are uh, YouTube commercials. So clicking, purchasing through my links helps this channel grow. It helps bring in a monetary stream so that I have time to make free videos. So today's video is rather simple. I'm gonna show you how to collect the seeds from coxcomb, which is typically used as a very beautiful ornamental plant. Um, however, it is from the amaranth family and the young shoots can be used um, in salads. They can be eaten. However, <laughs> this plant is so gorgeous and beautiful, I wouldn't um, eat it. I would just let it grow and, and fill out your garden beds. It's um, I don't often plant things that have like uh, no purpose for me to use as a herb or food source. Um, even my flowers that I plant, I usually plant all edibles, but this is one that I just think is just so darn gorgeous. It's velvety, it's beautiful, it's bright, and it just brings like joy. So that is good enough reason to grow it. And uh, the seeds are very unusual, very small, and if you're not used to this plant, um, you may be um, surprised to see what the seeds look like and how to gather them. So let's get started. Okay, so I have some cut coxcomb in front of me and I had them in a, a vase. They were in my kitchen for a while. They um, were adorning my kitchen space, just being so beautiful. I did not grow these, but I'm going to collect the seeds from them so that I can grow them next year. So I'm gonna just pick up one and um, this whole lower section of the flower here so you have the top beautiful um, fuzzy coxcomb velvety flower in the top but all on this lower part you can kind of see these black seeds and they're on the table they're falling off this is where the seed is so after the plant has fully matured uh, the seed then will be present and you can just kind of look and see I think it's best to cut them and bring them inside and then you can collect them because um, trying to collect them out at your garden you might lose more than um, than you're able to get and uh, so let me just show you here on the paper towel so they this plant has these teeny tiny little seeds and I'm going really close they almost look like specks of pepper but they're uh, shiny so you kind of just take, if you take the plant and you just, man, my hand's in the way. I mean, you really just kind of like rub with your thumb or shake and they just literally fall off all over the place. They're really, really small, but really brilliant. Uh, at this point, I would probably let them air dry on the paper towel for maybe 24 to 48 hours before I stored them. Put them in a, I usually use like a little Ziploc bag and then I put in a paper towel, like a piece of a paper towel so that the seeds, um, if there is any possible moisture that that paper towel will absorb moisture or your seeds will um, mold. But for this plant with this type of seed, you probably won't have that problem. Coxcomb is an annual in northern, like colder climates. So it will not, um, the, the plant will not grow back from just being planted in the ground. So you have to collect the seeds 
or if you're lucky, it'll reseed itself. But you have to collect the seeds and it's best to start them indoors about a month before they go outside. So as you can see, they're just like falling off everywhere and you could have like a few flowers, you'd have enough seeds for like, geez, a lifetime. Um, but you'd have plenty of seeds to share with people. I'm gonna just set that down so you can see. I'm gonna probably just collect the seed with this little pink flower um, and just put it in the bag together. But I definitely need about 24 to 48, 48 hours to make sure it's dried to put in my bag. So a little bit more about growing this plant, um, coxcomb, or it's also called celosia, and I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, C-E-L-O-S-I-A. Like I said, it's from the amaranth family. And um, this plant likes full sun. It is a tropical plant. It likes warm weather. It will grow in colder climate, but it will not come back as a perennial. You have to replant it. Um, either buying the plants already grown from a greenhouse or if you have the ability to grow them from seed, uh, grow them like a month before you're ready to put them outside. I think it has to be past frost time, whatever zone you're in. They like well-drained soil, full sun, uh, rich soil. So some of my plants, uh, a lot of my herbs or a lot of the herbs that you would grow like pretty hardy herbs like peppermint can grow in poor soil. Now you, you really don't want poor soil. You always kind of want rich soil, but this is one plant that it will not grow well if it does not have rich soil. So a nice rich patch, or if you're doing potted plants, you can like add this in, like maybe with um, a potted plant uh, planter with herbs which would mainly be green and then you add some of the coxcomb and then it's just like this beautiful splash of color and they come in a variety of different colors there's oranges and yellows and uh if you can swap seeds with people i find that's like one of my favorite ways to get new and come back soon for some more videos i talk on herbs plants sometimes food recipes art healing, anything kind of like in this natural art, healing, herbal genre. I try to stay in kind of like the same realm of or genre. I don't want to like stray too much, but you can put a lot under the, the artistic uh, plant herbal genre. So I hope that you um, take a moment to like just go through all my videos. I have a lot of different types of videos. I've been pretty active with this channel for the last year and I plan on staying that way. So thank you so much.